What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we're going to be talking about the ultimate guide to beating Adam Grad Episode 2 which is the second raid here in Modern Warfare 2. Definitely stay tuned but before we jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like and let me know down below in the comment section if you guys still need a squad to play either this episode with or even the first one. You can obviously use the new matchmaking feature which just got added about a month ago for the raid experience which is not a bad idea. Just come across people that hopefully have a mic, make sure they're communicating very well and actually want to beat the episode. I don't know why else they'd be matchmaking if they weren't. But with that, you can also use the comments of this video to party up with some people, drop your gamer tag, your Activision ID, whatever the case is. You can also join my Discord server, which is linked down below in this video's description. And there's plenty of players over in there also willing to beat this episode or play other parts of COD 2.0 as well. Just make sure you guys have a mic and can communicate as much as you possibly can because that is 100% required for both the first episode and especially this one. But this episode does pick up just minutes after the first one ended. So I think what that means is by the end of the fifth episode, it'll feel like we just played a big giant DLC co-op campaign which I'm totally on board with I think we've all been asking for that for the last couple of years you're like you know what let's see some DLC campaign missions or some co-op campaign missions and that's kind of what raids is on top of being a big expansion of spec ops of course but also as a big FYI there are checkpoints in this raid so if you guys all bleed out for whatever reason the game isn't over right it could punish you that way I think it does on the veteran version of the raid but for the regular version you have unlimited checkpoints unlimited restarts don't worry don't freak out I know for sure on the veteran version you're you're limited to I think three to five lives something like that but that's not what we're covering here in today's guide so you want to start off by climbing up this ladder here as you can see and keep in mind yellow is an important color for the raids especially this episode specifically it does indicate that you can actually mantle on top of whatever that object or uh platform is so keep that in mind if you guys ever get lost or confused yellow is a good indicator that you're going the right way and can actually jump or climb up to something to get to your next area you can also take your pistol out while you're climbing because there will be some AI waiting at the top of this platform there as you can see take out all the enemies and also there's a jug that'll randomly be down that hallway so just do some corner covering throw some flashbangs semtex all focus on his head and it'll drop pretty damn quickly you can even pick up his minigun if you guys want and you can also refill ammo for it if you come across some ammo stations or if you throw an ammo box down on the ground whatever it is that you want to do with that feel free to do so you now want to time it and go past the pipes once the air stops blowing out of them and for those fans of the batman arkham games you'll probably be familiar with how this puzzle works really damn simple just wait until the smoke stops blowing and you can just run right through and time that perfectly for your teammates as well since there's of course three of you here in this squad the next area is also fairly fun you want to mantle and climb here right there as you can see while someone at the bottom turns the valve to switch which pipe the air blows out of so once you make it to the top there's another valve that does the same thing so you can let your other buddies up so it's just all about communication again have one person at that valve while somebody's jumping across then the person that gets across jumps up to the top and then hits the valve for the player below them rinse and repeat until all all three players are at the very top here not too hard whatsoever now, there's also going to be plenty of ai waiting for you in this room again the ai is still pretty difficult i would say it's gotten toned down a pinch since the first episode of raids and isn't nearly as annoying as the ai you're going to see over in dmz but they can still do some damage to you so make sure you guys are armored up make sure you guys throw armor boxes down on the ground if you guys need that and play it up whenever you guys do get an opportunity but we're now coming across the first major parkour puzzle here of episode two what you want to do is hit these three buttons at the very same time so just coordinate that with your teammates and you want to time this right because only one player can step on a platform at a specific moment in time because of a weight restriction meaning you'll fall to your death instantly if multiple players step on the same platform at once and you are timed on this right if you take too long if you guys just you know hit the buttons and wait to see all the platforms come up they'll eventually all go back down so you want to start this process right after you hit those buttons and you want to make sure that each player is jumping on a new platform immediately as they get an opportunity to and not doing it too close to the other teammates because if you guys all land on a platform at once you're gonna fall right to your death now if for some reason one player makes it across and not the others you don't have to die to get back to your teammates to restart this puzzle there's a ladder on the other side allowing you to get back to where your buddies are so you can restart this process with the buttons and jumping across the platforms the correct way but just copy exactly as we did and you'll be just fine it's really not that difficult but again does require some good communication over on your mics and once you make it to the other side of this you can ascend up to the next area in which you'll see the second major parkour puzzle here of episode two the same rules do apply you want to hit all three buttons at the same time but this time the timing in which the platforms drop is a bit tougher you also have two sides of platforms you need to jump through you want to make sure you're jumping on each one perfectly with your teammates following close behind but not too close to where they're jumping on the same platform as you and you also want to make sure that as you're jumping across to each one you don't 
uh, hesitate a little bit too much to where then you kind of fall through and have to mantle back up onto it. If that happens to you, it's probably a rip and you have to restart. You want to make sure you're jumping onto each one in perfect sequence and not uh, jumping a little bit too late or, or, or something where, again, you're about to fall and you kind of grab yourself and then get onto the next one. That's not what you want to see at all, as you can see here in the gameplay. Again, making sure that your teammates are close behind you, jumping on each platform before the platforms themselves do fold, and then you'll fall to your death. And there is, again, a ladder on the other side that allows you to get back to where the three buttons were so that if you have to restart this whole process, you can do that without having to jump to your death to then get that checkpoint. You now want to go through these doors and you'll be greeted by a ton of enemies. You want to wipe all of them as efficiently as you can. And once you get into this room specifically, also be careful for riot shielders and armored AI, which could get pretty frustrating. There's also no rush in doing any of this unless you're speed running. So keep taking everybody down as efficiently as you want, but taking some cover every once in a while to put some armor plates on, letting your teammates reload, whatever the case is there, take out everybody in the best way that you can. You can then repel up to the next floor, as you can see right here, which you'll then be greeted by even more AI. You can then mantle onto the crates right here, where you can then jump onto the yellow pillars that are part of this elevator shaft. And remember, yellow is an important color, so every time you see that color, that probably means that you can mantle on some of the pillars or parts of that environment, wherever you're looking at. This next puzzle is quite simple. The goal is to repel up the rope, but you obviously can't because there's a fire that's in the way. You want to use the valve to put out the fire, but time it so the teammate starts repelling up just a second or so after you actually hit that valve. Uh, the teammate will get an indication, or an audio cue, I should say, that the fire is being put out. So once you hit that valve, it'll take about a second or two, then the fire will go out. They repel right upwards. They'll have plenty of time to get to the top, and they once again have to be careful with the AI that's waiting for them on that next platform. Repeat that process for your second teammate, but then at the very top of there, obviously you'll realize, oh, we left somebody behind. There's a second identical valve just sitting up there that will allow you to put out the fire that's blocking the rope. So the people that go up to that platform can then turn that valve, allowing that third player who's stuck at the bottom to then repel up the rope without being burned alive. Now, once you're all at the top, you can press that button to proceed into the next space and get ready to be bombarded by even more AI, specifically down these corridors. And again, take cover if you need to while you play it up and reload or do whatever you got to do. It gets crazy. And believe it or not, if you guys aren't being careful enough, you can all get down pretty quickly. And if one of you guys is a medic, obviously you got to self-revive or revive pistol field upgrade. Use that to your advantage, but I recommend keeping that for later in this episode as you're about to see. You'll eventually come across this hatchet where you can fall into and then you'll find the third major parkour step of this episode. This time, not only do you have to go through two sets of platforms like we did before, but you have to cut through to the other side at a specific moment in time while timing that perfectly so that your teammates don't jump on the same platform as you or don't fall to their death for taking too long to actually jump. You'll see exactly on screen where you have to cut through or when you have to cut through to that other side. So don't be fooled by the additional platforms that spawn in towards the back. That's probably there just to fool you or because there's intel sitting back there, but you have to cut through specifically right here on screen as you guys saw and once one person cuts through make sure your other teammates are ready to cut through right there as you can see now it feels like the timing of this parkour puzzle is a bit different where the first set of platforms feels like the previous sets you did but the second set of platforms feels like the actual platforms themselves drop a lot faster than the other sets we did earlier so you want to make sure you time that right and upon doing this at least one or two successful times you'll be able to breeze through this in any other attempt that you do of this episode in the future now once at the other side you notice that there's a ladder that also allows you to get back to the beginning where those buttons were in the case that when you guys got separated and need to get back to restart this whole process again that's there in the case that you guys need to all hit those buttons again and run through the entire set of platforms all the way over again but with that once everybody is right here successfully on the other side you can go through this specific door you'll see a crack in the floor as well in which you can fall through there's a ton of armored ai waiting for you so also be careful you get some creepy cold revives when using your flashlight as you guys can see it's a pretty cool part here of this mission and gives heavy campaign vibes as well for those out there that like some of these darker spaces. You might even come across some Perseus logos, which I'll be talking about in a separate video. Infinity Ward is indeed continuing to solidify that Black Ops and Modern Warfare are fully crossed over, which I'm totally on board with, and I can't wait to see how else they expand on this in future raid episodes. You'll then come across a jug. Once you get towards the bottom of this area right here, you come down some set of stairs, you'll see a jug, other armored enemies. Take your time. Don't all jump here at once. Try to uh, bait some of the enemies out and wait at the top a little bit, throw some equipment, shoot the enemies take some cover then all jump to the bottom and pick up his minigun or whatever other items that drop from the armored ai so take all of them out in a very precise manner and it's not too difficult as you guys will see here but things get tough also watch out for electricity that will hit certain puddles of this room if you run across them it'll hit you like a shock charge which is a bit annoying especially if there's other ai that's charging at you that'll probably get you killed pretty quickly so watch your back at all times and warn your teammates about that as well now when you come across this room you'll notice something a bit different about this episode than the first one the first 
first episode had these specific ammo crates that also refilled your armor, and that was helpful and whatnot, but this new episode actually separates that. So there's ammo crates and armor crates. So take advantage of those as you come across them. There's also a kit selection crate sitting right here in which you can refill your field upgrade by reselecting the same kit that you had, or you can switch to another kit if you so please. If you guys are tired of being assault or tired of being a medic and you want to be a recon or something else, you can switch between your kits right here in this room, which is awesome. A cool new feature that hopefully will be incorporated in future raid episodes as well. You'll then breach this door where you'll come across the final puzzle of episode two. It really isn't that hard, and if anything, is a tad easier than the final puzzle of episode one. It does require more communication, though, than the parkour steps of this episode. There's going to be three buttons in this room, as you can see. One that ventilates toxin. It's in the other room. One that shuts off a fan in the other room, and one that opens the door to get into that room that you can see right here behind the glass. You want to have one person go in at a time. Obviously, for speedrunning purposes, you'll probably find a better way to do this where two players go in at a time, but we're not going to go through that here in this guide. One person has to wait here by this door while waiting for another player to hit the ventilation button first, which clears the gas in the room you're about to go in. And once the player hits that ventilation button, they also have to hit the other button, which is right beside, it's a couple of feet away, that opens the secret door. Once that player does that for you, this first player right here, so from my perspective, is going to go through this room. So the ventilation will work for about 40 seconds, and the door will only remain open for about 8 seconds. So again, it's simple. You have 40 seconds to get through this space as you're about to see, and you only have about a couple of seconds to get through the first door, but just wait by it, and you won't have a problem with it. So once you're in this room, you want to pay attention here. You want to watch out for the puddles on the floor, which could electrocute you, of course. Follow my exact path till you come across a specific spot where the player in the other room now has to hit the button that deactivates the fan. It'll end up shutting off one of three fans here, right here, as you can see, and you want to slip through and come across the other door here on this side of the room, and one of your other buddies on the other side needs to hit the button again that opens the door, and it'll open. So again, the button that the other player just hit opens not only the first door you came through, but also the second one at the same time to get out. So again, for speedrunning strats, you can probably use that to your advantage to make sure that somebody out there is getting through as quick as they can. But the player who made it through is now in a new room that has the same set of buttons as the other room. So either you or another buddy can help send your third player through the same process that I just mentioned. That's ventilating, opening the door, shutting off the fan, followed by opening that door again to get players here to the other side. Now, while this is all going on, the player who just entered the new room is going to be coming across some new AI, people that are shooting you from across the map. It gets a bit crazy, so watch your back, take cover, armor up as much as you can, and also keep in mind you're being timed for this entire puzzle as well, but if the timer expires or you guys all die, you'll get a really easy checkpoint restarting you from the beginning of the specific puzzle that you're on right now, not from the beginning of the entire raid episode. The goal is just to get all three players to this other room that you're seeing me in right now, but just watch out for those riot shielders, throw your equipment, take some cover, armor up, and communicate as best as you can to hit the buttons that you need to to get everybody out there into this brand new room, and eventually, once you get a second player through, you're going to have one player by themselves on the other side, which could get scary for them. So hopefully they have the medic role if they're last so that they can have a self-revive or a revive pistol to do what they got to do. And you just want to, again, click the buttons in the right order to make sure they get through that other room as you can see there. You want to ventilate, open the door for them, shut off the fan once they get to the actual area where the fan is, then open that door yet again to make sure they get to the other side. Now, once you're all through, the gas will start chasing you. So things are about to get a bit crazy. You're going to start running as fast as you can with your teammates while dealing with a crazy horde of enemies. This part really suits the name of this mode, which is Raid. So you want to watch out for Riot Shielders, a bunch of armored AI. I don't think there's a jug or anything at the end here, but still watch out. Throw your equipment, armor up as needed. Watch out for those sneaky enemies that are kind of hiding in certain corners. It gets pretty wild in here, but it's really not that difficult. And once you make your way to the very end of this area, you'll see a weak wall that you can breach through. And upon breaching that wall, it'll then lead you into one final space where there's still some more AI, but nothing too dramatic. Still take your time with your team, armor up, reload, do what you have to do. And upon getting to the very end of a specific corridor, you'll see a prompt on a red button allowing you to actually close the airlock doors. And that will be the end of episode two of Raids here. Now, I'll be talking more about the story implications of this final cutscene and even the rewards in a separate video. Overall, it was a fun experience. I do like this episode more than the first one. And big shout out to both Sniper and Sky for joining me on this journey today. Definitely a really cool update here for Season 2 Reloaded. I'm looking forward to the other episodes that do drop in future mid-season updates as well. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on my ultimate guide here for Episode 2 of Adam Grad? How are you feeling about the parkour puzzles and everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.